behaviors that may indicate that someone has high functioning alcoholism. Concealing how much alcohol you're consuming, such as drinking before or after an event. In an effort to drink responsibly while you're in front of other people. Have you done that? I did. A little pre-gaming, show up, have one or two so I could look like a, a normal drinker. Uh, and sometimes, you know, if I didn't get to pre-game, I would go home and drink some more. So you may be at an event where alcohol isn't served or you told the people you're with that you wouldn't drink. And so you may sneak a drink. You may take some in your bag. You may make a, a walkabout through the event and grab a drink from the bartender when you think no one is looking. This may also include drinking by yourself. It could also include hiding alcohol around the house. Continuing to drink, even if it has caused or worsened physical or mental health problems. Alcohol is tricky. It's very insidious. And so we may not recognize the toll it's taking on us day by day. But if we look back a few years ago, maybe, and we look at where our mental and physical health were, do you see a decline? Maybe you're still exercising. That's very common amongst people with high functioning alcohol use disorder. They're still working out. Are you making gains? Are you making strides in your physical health? How about your mental health? Are you finding that you feel low quite a bit? Are you finding that the only time you can feel balanced or perhaps a little bit of happy is when you're drinking? Alcohol is a depressant and it has a tremendous impact on our neurotransmitters, the feel-good ones, dopamine, serotonin, and it releases more of the ones that counteract and increase stress, that counteract the effects of alcohol in an effort to return to homeostasis, such as cortisol, adrenaline, creating that anxiety. Drinking a large amount of alcohol and appearing and not appearing intoxicated. Oof, this is a big one. That's called functional tolerance. And no, it's not because you're Irish or German or Scandinavian, although that is a component and I'll get to that in a moment. Functional tolerance is your ability to ingest large amounts and still function. So when I described a brownout, you know, I would wake up the next morning and the dishwasher had been emptied, lunches had been packed, kitchen had been cleaned up. I had washed my face. I was in pajamas. And I could remember glimpses of it. I couldn't recall all of the details. And my kids knew me well enough to know if I'd been drinking, but often I would interact with people and have full-on conversations. That's functional tolerance. Now, I am of German and Irish descent, and I used to joke about that. I was built to drink. Well, to some extent, that may be true. People of uh, European descent tend to have more uh, alcohol dehydrogenase. That's an enzyme that helps convert alcohol, helps metabolize it. Uh, so yeah, other people uh, of say, perhaps Asian descent, they have, they actually have to work to develop an alcohol problem because they flush, they have um, a response that makes them feel uncomfortable when they ingest alcohol, like a histamine response. And sometimes we've had members uh, who have said, who have told me they've taken an antihistamine before drinking so that they could get their buzz. So it can happen, but yeah, if you're of that, um, 
ancestry, you may have more alcohol dehydrogenase, making it easy for you to metabolize and like alcohol and fall into that cycle. The thing is, your liver, your body, your brain, it's trying to deal with all that alcohol. And so my liver was stressed. My brain was completely out of whack. 